Hi there, my name is Daniel Fraser. สวัสดีครับผม Daniel Fraser ครับผมเป็นชาวแคนาดาที่อยู่ในประเทศไทยมา12ปีแล้วครับแล้วผมคิดว่าเมื่อชาวต่างชาติอย่างผมเดินทางมาที่ประเทศไทยสิ่งแรกแรกที่เราเห็นแล้วก็ที่เราคิดก็คือประเทศไทยเป็นประเทศที่สวยงามมากๆครับ Yes Just think of all the beautiful things you see right from the airport to a hotel, like Thai temples, canals, Thai houses, or things you see every day on the side of the road, like spirit houses. Thailand really is a land of beauty, a land of design, and a land of creativity. In fact, I've always called p r a t e t Thai the kingdom of design. I'm inviting you to join me behind the scenes on a fascinating experimental project, the first of its kind in Thailand, in which several up-and-coming Thai designers are given a challenge to design a product to be featured in an imaginary fantasy land hotel. They'll receive mentorship and tutoring from well-known Thai and international designers, and the only limitations are their imaginations. Best of all. Some of them will have the work chosen to be showcased in a prestigious international design exhibition. This project is called Hotel Fantasia. Let's go inside and learn a little more. For a little background on the Hotel Fantasia project, Thailand's Department of International Trade and Promotion has had a mandate to foster Thai design talent. And encourage Thai designers to develop their skills to compete and excel on the international stage. This year, they've taken Talent Thai a step further. Uh, well, we believe that um, Thai designers play a key role in adding value to products and services, um, especially product designers. So um, we think that um, the way to to support and promote the industry is also to uh, develop designers so that that they're able to become internationally uh, recognized. Uh, their standards of service are internationally recognized as well. So that's um, one of the, the objectives of this project. Well, the Department of International Trade Promotion, um, we have a very big role in terms of um, uh, trying to promote the image of Thailand. We have actually um, a very uh, major project that we have ongoing at the moment, which is the Thailand Trust Mark. Um, the Trust Mark is a is a, a, a symbol that uh, we give to to um, very high quality uh, manufacturers. This this gives them an, uh, a very good uh, opportunity to to promote and su and, and um, support their products overseas. And we believe that that's part of the the way in which we can um, increase the image of Thailand as a as a as a country that produces quality goods and services. Um, I think that's very important because a lot of comp a lot of uh, countries are. Uh, competing in terms of image as well, not just um, tourism, but also in terms of their products and services. So we also have a very uh, major role in, in um, raising the image of Thailand through uh, quality goods and services, which are, we were very well known for anyway. Um, when I received the uh, brief from uh, DITP um, to design the course for this workshop, I thought of the um, future content that's coming up, which um, relies on tourism. Because here in Asian countries, I mean, uh, especially Southeast Asia, it's going to be the hub of uh, all the tourists, you know, from around the world. So um, the uh, core content of this work workshop is uh, supposed to uh, create some kind of a virtual space. That implies or reflect a collaboration in between um, tourism, hospitality, and all kind of uh, product designs together. And I thought of um, designing one virtual space for them, and I would call it Hotel Fantasia. That reflects the uh, tendencies of the future um, hotel context that's going to happen now. Uh, you know, in new. Developed, uh, you know, countries. Now, Thailand has a number of world-class designers who have incorporated elements of Thai culture and Thai lifestyle into their work. For the Hotel Fantasia project, two well-known Thai designers have been invited to be guest speakers and mentors, and we sat down with them and asked, "What's about your work, and what are the secrets to your success internationally?" 
I think Thai culture, uh, both the philosophy, the arts, are great inspiration in creating uh, unique uh, design products that can really penetrate uh, the world's market and really stand out as being uh, very unique in the world. Um, I think we, when we started Han, we, we started from being a natural product and it really started to gain international recognition when we put in the element of being an Asian product uh, by u using Asian philosophy of being a holistic approach uh, to well-being uh, that really differentiate us from existing brands in the market and by incorporating uh, Asian art into the design of the products, the packaging itself really make them uh, special and really stand out. Uh, once people pick them up, uh, they can feel the difference in the design and how, how it reflects the, the story of the brand that really strengthen the, the, the product itself. การทํางานศิลปะนี่แหละแล้วทีนี้เอ่อเมื่อเราทํางานเพนติ้งศิลปะตอนเรียนแล้วเนี่ยพอเวลามาคิดถึงก็เลยคิดว่าการใช้เทคนิคที่เป็นสื่อผสมเข้ามาช่วยพอเวลาเรียนเสร็จปั๊บเมื่อจบการศึกษาแล้วเราก็คิดว่าเราน่าจะเป็นคนที่ทำงานศิลปะขายได้In addition, the Hotel Fantasia project has invited international hotel designers who've worked on some of the world's best known luxury design hotels to share their ideas throughout this project. So we asked them, what do they think of Thai design and the potential of young Thai designers in the international marketplace? Um, you know, but that, you know, for us, um, it was really important to be in Thailand because we feel that uh, one of the one of the driving decisions was the talent here. I mean, the the, the designers here um, are great uh, tacticians, um, amazingly trained, um, and it's made my job a lot easier. Uh, and and the creativity is there. Uh, and I, I, you know, we really, I think what what makes what we do really fun is we're able to take what we do, uh, you know, stateside and that kind of a very kind of mm. American culture, right? And uh, really take the best of that and apply it here um, in a way that creates, uh, I think, really um, exceptional design and and a really great place to work. You know, um, we've got a good, we've got a wonderful studio. Yeah, it does. I mean, it already does. I mean, there's so much stuff out there that is Thai that is not branded as Thai. But I think there's room for Thai design that's obviously Thai design. Uh, the thing that I would like to see happen in this country is more people take ownership of their design and, and really feel good about what they're doing, not just do it because it's for a large company or, or whatever. The younger designers would like to see a more international market. They'd like to see themselves you know, in Europe, in the States, in Australia, that sort of thing. Uh, but Thai design is, is coming up. It's no longer very obviously Thai design. It's becoming much more modern and much more integratable into, if that's a word, into you know, other societies and into other areas, not just Asia.